In the silent high-speed video shown here on the left, we see the leaves of a potted plant shown on the right. The video was recorded while a nearby loudspeaker played the notes to Mary Had a Little Lamb. Even when we play the video in slow motion here, the vibrations caused by the music are so subtle that they move the plant's leaves by less than a hundredth of a pixel, making the plant appear still to the naked eye. But by combining and filtering all of the tiny motion happening across the image that you see, we are able to recover this sound. In our next experiment, we recovered live human speech from high-speed video of a bag of chips lying on the ground. But to make things a little more challenging, this time we put the camera outside, behind a soundproof window. This is what a cell phone was able to record from inside, next to the bag of chips. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. And this is what we were able to recover from high-speed video, filmed from outside, behind soundproof glass. Most frequencies of audible sound are much higher than the frame rates of standard video, so all of the results we've looked at so far were recovered from video captured by a high-speed camera which can record thousands of frames per second. But in this next experiment, we show that by taking advantage of artifacts caused by the rolling shutter in most consumer cameras, we can sometimes actually recover sound at frequencies several times higher than the frame rate of our video, letting us recover audio from video captured on regular consumer cameras. Here we see a 60 frames per second video of a bag of candy captured on a regular consumer DSLR while our Mary Had a Little Lamb music played through a nearby loudspeaker. By using a variation of our technique on the rows of the recorded video, we are able to recover this audio, which includes frequencies more than five times higher than the frame rate of our camera, 